Hello, this is Bud. This lesson is primarily for new users uh, to help with the thinking process of how you may want to organize your patterns uh, that you purchase or pick up from someone uh, and the designs uh, that you may make or get some from someone else. So let's look at a design that someone made. Okay, here's a design that Steve made for a, a new member. Uh, and maybe we don't have it, you know, we, we like it, we want to keep it, where are we going to put it? Well, if I come up here to File, and do a Save As, it's going to put it somewhere uh, within the carve right section and it's called clock layout uh, up until this time I may not have even known the name for sure uh, maybe that's a good name maybe that's a bad name but the thing is I may have a tough time remembering what I called it or where it went so how am I going to resolve that I'm going to cancel and we're going to talk about some concepts. Okay, since this is a design and not a pattern, uh, I've gone into my documents and uh, my tree or chain of things I have and I've got a first choice section and then I've got a carve right section and then I have carve right projects and I have folders for various things whether they're animals birds children church clocks oh this is a clock so I'm going to open up clocks and I have a tennis clock okay so now I can take this new one and what I'm going to do is come back over here and I'm going to save as and I'm going to go to my documents first choice carve right projects clocks and I'm going to call this what I want and um, just as um, the person asked for this clock he's making it for a grandchild let's say the grandchild is Susie so I'm going to call this Susie's clock okay that way I know which one it is and it's going to be under clocks it is an MPC and it's saved that's simple Again, let's go back to my tree. Get the right place here. Whatever we look at on this tree, um, I have it divided into various things. Whether you know it's people, and I can have sub subfolders under people. I've got some plaques. I've got uh, school things. Uh, whatever it is, plaques. I've got a red hat uh, plaque there. Uh, I've got signs, uh, and I've got some army signs, I've got some Anna school signs, uh, some cute signs, some fishing signs, some signs that pertain to Indian Lake, uh, Jackson Center, Tip City, and then I've got some uh, just general things that I haven't put under a folder. But a lot of these folders may have more than one. Here's fishing, and I've got two. Uh, but it's no different than I do with my pictures. I try to keep them arranged from day one. And these are all MPCs. I know that I could let the machine put it where it wants, but I would rather determine where it goes and exactly how it's named. I can go back to it. I can alter it. Um, save it a second time under a different name or replace the one I had. 
Uh, that's with the MPCs, the actual designs. Now let's talk about patterns. And while we're talking about patterns, let's let's just do it a, a little bit here, so we know what's going on. If I go to the CarveRight forum and come down to Gallery and click on Gallery, and then I can come down this list and look at things. Uh, everything with a paperclip means there are various uh, collections there. If you set on it, it tells you how many attachments are on a particular subject. Uh, the naming may or may not be uh, the way you would name things. But if I come up to this pattern sharing depot, it's got, well, one shy of 1,400 post replies. If I come over here to paperclip, there's 2,205 attachments. If I click on that attachment, paperclip, I'm just going to expand this so we can see a little more of it here. Um, they're in alphabetic order. Um, for some reason, they're from Z to A, uh, at least what I'm looking at. Now, there will be MPCs. There will be zip files. Uh, they may contain more than one thing. And there are patterns. Um, Here's a World War One triplane pattern. Uh, here's a JPG, which is just a picture. It's the same thing. So I can look at the picture quickly to see what it looks like and have an idea whether I want it. It's not bad. So I go up to Pattern, and I click on the pattern, and it's going to ask me if I want to open it. So I'm going to open it. Okay, it's opened it. It looks pretty good. I don't have to lower it to get rid of any of the background. Um, inverting um, may or may not be something I want to do at this point. I can do it later with no problem. Uh, I can deal with the floor. I can size it. Uh, but if I like it the way it is or when I get it the way I want it, I click Finish. And it says, okay, I'm going to put it in Favorites. But where do I want it? Okay, I can choose. I don't have to have one big long grocery list under favorites. I can click on favorites and just like I did with my designs, I can have various folders. Uh, so if I come down through this, uh, transportation. Okay, it is transportation. I could make a new folder, which all I have to do is click on New Category once, I'm, once I've highlighted the Favorites section. But Transportation's not bad. Uh, and I could have an Aviation or whatever. Um, looks like I've already got it, but just to show you how it works, it's named Biplane 2. So if I like that name, all I have to do is click Save. If I want to name it something else, all I have to do is that. But I've got Transportation, and I do a Save, and it saved that. Okay, now let's just get a piece of wood, and let's go to Patterns. I don't need this. I'm going to get this down so we can maybe have more room here. Click on Favorites and come down this list to Transportation. And here's the airplane that I had earlier. And here's the Biplane 2. Click on it. Come over here and click. And there I have it. So I can organize patterns within the system and designs outside the system under my documents, carve right, and be able to find them easily and they will open 
where I want them or when I want them without having to fight and remember where they are because I named them the way I wanted them at the time. I can move them from uh, folder to folder. Um, it's just a matter of dragging and dropping here on this list. If something's in the wrong place or whatever, I can open up two different places and I can take this and move it up into the other open section and it will end up being in alphabetical order. But that gives you a taste of how to organize patterns and designs, at least the way I like to do it. It saved me a lot of headaches. Uh, I had quite a few in the pattern favorites uh, and I ended up making all of my folders and dragging things around uh, just like I did way back when with the pictures uh, before I made the the various folders and trees within the folders. Uh, and it just helps keep everything organized. I hope that helps.